Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today is the day we are going to texture this model. We are going to texture the desk and the three assets above. Now, when we're talking about texturing, we also have to figure out what type of material we want to use. So when I take a look at this, I can see there's some reflections. So at Lambert isn't going to cut it. I'm going to be using the Arnold AI Standard Shader. So we're going to get a little practice in that. These models have already been UV mapped. So if you want to see how you do that, how you model and UV map it, please take a look at the previous videos. If you want to skip all that, then you can just go ahead and download this UV mapped object already at academicphoenixplus.com. Don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. There you will get free models. You will also get uh, pre-release content and a bunch of other perks. So again, that is academicphoenixplus.com. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So when we take a look at our material back here, we need some sort of wood texture. So if you go to textures.com, I already did so, I found some really nice wood fine uh, grain, something like this. And it's also repeating, which is gonna be very helpful for me. I've already downloaded it. And you guys can get, again, a copy of it at academicphoenixplus.com. If you go into desk and you go under images, you're going to find a texture here. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's not exactly like that material, but it's going to be close enough for this exercise. All right. So the first thing we want to do is export the UV map. Go to UVs, uh, UV texture editor. You're going to select your two items. And don't forget these little guys right here. Pink. This is the UV map for the desk. I'm going to go to image, UV snap. I'm going to use a 1024 map, which works for me, and I'm going to browse. And you'll see that it drops it off at images, which is perfect. So I'm going to type in desk UV map. All right. Uh, I'm going to use a TIFF as fine. 1024. Click apply and close. And let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. While I do that, let's go ahead and grab all the other assets. Because we might as well just export these in case we need them. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I am missing something. There it is. Okay. So same story with this one, image, UV snap, and this is going to be called um, assets underscore UV map or UV snap actually. And I'm going to use the same thing. So apply. Cool. Photoshop. Okay. I'm going to open up my files. This is my desk. I'm going to go to my channels. This is the first thing I always do and delete the alpha. I don't need any transparencies. I'm going to double click on this and call this UV snap. And I usually grab the magic wand and select somewhere in the empty space. So the texture needs to fall here. I don't want anything to fall in here. And I usually put a border around it. So I'm going to go to modify, select, modify, contract by 10 pixels. It's just, it's just a good habit. Uh, so I don't waste any, you know, any pixels on useless information. I usually use 0%, 0, 0, and for black, I do 50%. So hue saturation is 0, and black is 50%. That's going to be a neutral gray. Shift, backspace. Make sure you're using foreground color, and click, click OK. All right, so I know that this is going to be the cabinet. This is a top, and this is going to be metallic. So I'm grabbing my texture, and I'm going to bring it in. Copy and paste. Bloop. Whoops, not there. Here. And I'm going to bring this down. And the green's a little big, but we can actually we can kind of see what's going to happen. Now, theoretically, this is repeating. So that means that if I need to, I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit. I can do a control J, which duplicates the layer. I'm going to shift this down and it should basically align. And it does. Looks pretty good. I'm going to do a control E, which merges the layers together. Do a control J again, and I'm going to apply this to here. And try not to overlay anything. Well, let me also start over here. Then control J again, and I'm going to move this until it overlaps. There we go. A little off. Okay, here we go. All right, so control E, control E, that merges all the layers. Now, I only need it. Oh, I forgot this. That's okay. Let me grab a chunk. I'm going to grab a chunk. Hopefully, this is enough. Control J, move this over. Maybe expand it a little bit. Control T is expanding. 
and oh boy here we go uh let's do a clone and see if this is a good idea or a terrible idea well, he can't really tell hopefully mm -hmm. trying to get a good good enough okay um all right so this is supposed to be kind of like a light silver so i'm going to grab these guys try to deselect anything that you don't need i'm going to add these guys here as well get as close as you can and i'm going to grab a lighter silver oops and a new layer okay same thing with here And I think that's it. Maybe even the handles actually, this one may be even lighter still because it's going to be chrome. Okay. Um, hmm, that was pretty fast. Got to be careful with here. So I might go in, whoa, that's the eraser. And I might delete this part. I don't want it to interfere with uh, the texture of the top. All right, let's save as. This is going to be my desk CLR. I want to, since this is a working file, I'm going to go ahead and change it into a PSD. I'm going to save this also as a TIFF. And go to my source images, turn off layers, and save the final color in here. So this is my PSD is for working files. The source images is for final. It's not really final just yet, but um, we're going to, you know, we'll see how this looks and then we'll tweak it. So I'm going to assign a new material, right click, assign new material. Let's go to, uh, okay, so Arnold is missing. Let's troubleshoot that. We're going to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. Uh, right here is M2A, it's Maya 2 Arnold. So uh, right click, assign new material. Here's my... Here's my Arnold, and here is an AI standard surface. I'm going to assign that. Now notice that the grid is still active, so let's go ahead and turn off the grid by going to the UV texture editor and turning the grid off and also turning off the color. Ta-da! Okay, whoops, let's make sure we assign this as well. So assign existing material. This is going to be about AI standard surface shader, and we're going to call this desk AI standard. All right, on color, let's crank it up to one for the weight. The color is where we're gonna put in our texture. So let's, that was probably too fast. Let's click on this output. We're gonna go to file. We're gonna go to that little folder. And then there is our desk color and we're going to open. So that is what it looks like so far. Not too bad. The textures are falling nicely. The seams are working really well. Everything seems to be working great. So we'll keep moving from there. Now let's try to render. We're gonna to go to Arnold Render. And notice that it's super dark, right? That's because theoretically this is not supposed to be emitting light, but this is emitting light and that's how we're getting uh, this look. But we need to add kind of like a studio lighting. So I'm gonna hide my reference because I don't want it to emit light. I am going to use a Arnold light, area light. And what I do is very similar to studio lighting. I am going to scale it up and just kind of point it at the scene, at the objects. Maybe a little higher like this. So it's kind of like a studio lighting. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and move it to the other side something like that. So when I turn it on, you can just see it. And the reason why it's because we need to play around with our attributes. Open up the light. You are going to scroll down until you see, let's see, normalize. Turn off normalize on both lights. So grab the light and click off normalize. You can see that now we're starting to see some really nice things. Now it's dark, so we can increase our intensity. Let's go ahead and increase our intensity to two. So select both lights. You can only do this one at a time. 
and then there we go. Now we're starting to see something. I always encourage to have uh, some sort of floor, so let's go ahead and add a floor. I'm going to stop this because it's eating up so much memory. And so now we have a ground, and personally I would like an infinity curve, but you know, we'll just work with what we have. And maybe not floating in the air, so let's go ahead and there you go. All right, Arnold Render, let's see what you look like. Play. All right, so it's coming along, but it still seems really dark to me. So I'm going to do something called a light dome. So under Arnold, there is a light called a sky dome, and it creates a white dome around it. So when we render it, It's going to blow everything out, but I'm going to calm the intensity. But now we can see everything clearly, which is what we want. So we're going to, I'm going to reduce the intensity by half and see what type of effect that has. So now everything's being illuminated, but we're also getting the nice shadows from our area light. And now the cool thing is that we're getting that reflection, but it's really sharp. So we need to play around with the material. Select your desk AI standard and let's increase the roughness. So we're going to increase the roughness, which is going to blur. The reflections are still going to be there, but at least it's not going to be so obvious. All right. So, so far we've, oops, so far we've textured the desk. And the next step is going to be to fix a little bit of the lining because there's a lot of noise here. And also take a look at how to texture these three assets. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, please feel free to share this video with any of your friends, especially in social media. I would truly appreciate it if you did. And of course, uh, please leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or comments. So thank you again, and I will see you for the next episode. I'll see you next time.